All right, you guys, I am at the Delco booth and I learn something new every single day. And this is a family run operation and you guys are a pretty big organization as well, right? We are. You rapidly growing as well. And you started in 2006. This is this is the father, John, Kevin, and Will, yep. right? And you guys are you, you guys don't look like you got bruises. Nobody <laughs> strangling each other because normally this father and son operations <laughs> don't do so hot. So you guys have been building this this thing together for years now. Yeah, absolutely. We started in 2006. Our first building was 4,800 square feet, so we started from humble beginnings, and uh, you know we've just been growing and growing and uh, no plans of stopping so and this is the trailer you wanted to show me yeah right? absolutely so this okay. is our newly redesigned tilt trailer um, we went ahead and cut out notches down here you can see where the cross members come in here um, set down there also added bracing for rigidity and structure of the trailer um, but it's gonna allow for a lower deck height and a better load angle okay so those cross members don't compromise the strength of the framework no, so the cross members support this right here. Okay. And then cut out here, we have extra reinforcement so that the structural integrity isn't compromised at all. Okay. We've got three trailers we're going to look at, right? Yes, yes, sir. You wanted to show me this cattle hauler up here, right? Yes. Our main focus was cattle trailers. And so we did that pretty much primarily until about like, I started 2017, 2018. That's when we got more into like the dumps and the open trailers. But this is the product that we started and improved upon and improved upon and just made the best that we can do and we think it's the best trailer in the market and you use shelby trailer flooring i've, I've actually seen those before so um kind of familiar with that yeah, and that's that's one thing that kind of sets apart so we're gonna be able to do a full line of steel trailer right so we do steel enclosed we do stock trailers we do flatbeds we do dumps um a little bit of everything um and so we want to be able to be a one-stop solution for for all of our customers so now i'm looking at this one is is this trailer for real? This is for real. So hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is Kieran. She's freaking awesome. I am walking down the show floor and she's like, Stan! Stan! And I'm like, what the heck? And here she comes popping out and she flagged me Perfect down. Time. Yes! She rocks. All right, so tell this me about right this one. This right here is a miniature premium cattle trailer. You can okay. hook it up to a side-by-side -side or a golf cart, uh, haul cow, little cows, maybe mini cows, mini horses, maybe some goats. Goats? Uh, this was just a fun project my team and I did. and um, We were going to make one of every lineup. We just didn't have time, and it's as efficient as it was to be big. So yeah, this is actually pretty nicely set up to compartmentalize. Yeah, so it's, we love what we do. We had one of our guys, it was just like a, a project for him. Uh -huh. and, and so we had it laying around and every dealer that came by um, just seemed to love it. And so we're like, you know what? Maybe we'll start building some of these. And it's not gonna be our main line, but you can hook them to the side by side. You can teach your kids how to work. You can have it as a display. Um, something to capture attention, you know. And this is by Delco Trailers. By Delco Trailers. What do you guys look up if they want to find out more information. Look up our website, www.delcotrailers.com, and you'll be able to find everything you need. All right. Thanks, Will. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank you. you crushed it. Thanks, Kieran. Thank Appreciate you flagging you. me you. down. It's a pleasure to Thanks for being in there, John, Kevin. Nice to meet all of you guys. Thank Absolutely. you. All right, guys, I am with Joe. How are you, Joe? Doing great. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. Okay, so PJ Trailers has truck beds. That's correct. And this is one of them right here. That's correct. This is our PJ truck bed GH model. This is our uh, hauler style body with a 30,000 pound gooseneck hitch and a 24,000 pound rear receiver. Weld in head ape rack designed for tough, durable construction and outdoor use. Okay. So, Question for you, Joe. Yes, sir. Why would we want a PJ trailer over a Duramag or something else? So, a PJ truck bed is more feature rich. We have recessed toolbox doors, uh, we have fully integrated. Um, Fully integrated hitches designed by BMW. We're the only manufacturer with independently tested and rated gooseneck and rear receiver hitches. You'll notice our bodies have neat features like uh, adjustable airline track tie downs. We have a seven way trailer plug in the trough of this body. Like I said earlier, a 30,000 pound receiver, uh, 30,000 pound gooseneck, excuse me, 24,000 pound rear receiver. 
all of our lights have lifetime LED warranties on them. So we'll warranty your lights for the life of the bed. We have no exposed wiring underneath any of our flat decks or service bodies. Okay, but your shirt says CM truck bed. That's it correct. doesn't say PJ. That's correct. So we're all part of the ATW family. Okay. ATW owns multiple manufacturers. We're a, uh, we have 25 manufacturing facilities okay. in North America, and we manufacture brands like Big Tech's trailers, PJ, Carry On, BYs, CM truck beds, Dakota bodies, and PJ truck beds. Okay, and CM truck beds as well. That's correct. So we also do CM truck beds. Let's go take a look at a CM service body. This here is a service body. Uh, this is the fastest growing service body in North America. It's made under the CM and PJ brand name. So for customers looking for a more industrial, commercial style storage body, uh, this is a great piece that we offer. All of our doors are three piece with gas shocks, D-bulb automotive grade weather stripping, shelves standard in all of our boxes. Uh, we have uh, our horizontal boxes. Uh, sit at the 90 so you can use them as a, like a workbench. We also have drawers and shelves and cabinets available for each of these compartments. You can add master locks or rope lights inside. All of our service bodies come with standard with spray-in bed ladder and spray-on bumpers. Tie-downs inside. All installed very easily and we make them for all trucks. Single wheel, dual wheel, short wheel base, long wheel base, cab chassis. Okay, so if you guys want more information, they can visit cmtruckbeds.com or pjtruckbeds.com. Very good. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, Stanley. So, Timpty Trailers. Are you the same guys that make the trailers for the big semis? Yes, we are. That is what we started as. It's been around since 1884. 1884? Yeah. Not 1980. 1984. Okay. It's been around and we've always been in the trucking commercial business. And one of the things that I learned a long time ago, and what was your first name? Max. Max, one of the things I learned last year or the year before, whenever you guys were here, was you actually rivet everything together because welding aluminum makes it weaker. Yes. Yep, as soon as you put a weld to aluminum, uh, structural integrity goes down by about 50%. What? So we do all hux, uh rivets, and bomb fasteners. And they're actually even showing off better on these trailers over here. We've got our big rivets, and then our bombs. Stronger than welding, you don't lose any of the structural integrity, and, uh, and we do it on our semi trailers. So know. you use the, the same technology, and you didn't start with little ones. You started with the big big dogs, yep. and then you guys you guys did the opposite. Yep. You, you shrank. Yep. Yep. Decided that uh, we might as well make something for smaller. Right? They're aluminum trailers. Everybody's a, a welded out there, so right. we figured we can. We know what we're doing when we're building big ones, so why not build the small ones yep. in the same fashion? So. Agreed, agreed. And that's by Timpty, so that's great to know. All right, thank Matt, you. Thank Appreciate you. it, Max. Yeah, absolutely. All right, you guys, you're seeing it here first for the first time with me. I don't think anybody's ever done this before. And this is Josh. How are you, Josh? I'm good. And you're with Rice Trailers. You're actually yep. the owner of Rice Trailers. Yep. Okay, but look at this. Tell me about this story, will you, Josh? It's your standard industrial equipment trailer. This is um, not a gooseneck. I'm jumping in. No. Because it, it's a gooseneck. Inspired. Yes. Gooseneck inspired, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so did a lot of engineering behind it, a lot of market research, and this is kind of what it came up with. We're able with this to control the drop, so we're not locked in on a specific coupler height off of our beam like you'll see in other competitors. So this is actually gonna sit three inches lower, so then you can run this on the center of most of your standard, like dually or three quarter ton trucks. So, so now everybody seems to be going to the industry to have this kind of yes. a toolbox, uh -huh. but when you actually look at their toolboxes, their spare tire is sitting in it's it. in it, so it kills it. So you go under here, this is just a swing out spare mount. So you take these bolts out, swing this out, and that's where your spare lives. So now your spare is underneath. Right. It's not obstructing no. the sides. No. It raises the toolbox up into working height. Absolutely, yeah. Right? I'm mm -hmm. not bending over. I mean, that's not a big thing, but it no, is a big, a big thing, thing, you know? It is, it is another thing, you know? Right. And these are all benefits of something like this that Still well maybe jacked. after the fact that we didn't realize 
realize were benefits that are actually turned in. Does this have a torsion bar in it? This has a full torque tube running down this frame. So these are about six and a half inch tall cross members in here. Wood sits on top of them and we have a full torque tube that runs down the center that he's gonna take her underneath. We're going, we're going down. That's what she said, we're going down. Yelling timber. All right, so here's this torque tube, and this runs the entire length of the frame underneath this trailer. Why, Josh? Just for more strength, added strength, added stiffness of the trailer. Either hauling something, maybe your weight's a little distributed, a little bit different. You don't have the torsional flex, okay, on the trailer. That's gonna eliminate a lot of that, and then also too, tube is structural in all directions, so it's gonna act as a backbone to these frame. Mm -hmm. So your frame, you got your eight inch I-beam frame here, but then you also have that torque tube that's gonna support that and not let it belly out as much. Okay, what is this trailer called and where do you guys find it, Jeff? This is a Pro Max industrial equipment trailer and you can find it at any Rice Trailers uh, dealership. Rice Trailers. Rice Trailers. All right, let's go check out another one, guys. All right, guys, I want to introduce you to Doug. How are you, Doug? Pleasure to meet you. All right, so Doug, you actually created the panels that go into cargo trailers, and you used to, this is a very interesting story, sell them to other trailer companies, but you didn't like how they were building the trailers centered around your panels, so you built your own company. But show me, this is a panel, and nobody else does this. This is actually 21 patents on this panel, is that, that right? That's correct, worldwide. Worldwide. So this is a structural panel, and you've created this for your entire trailer system. That is correct. Derivative honeycomb product that we created to, in essence, bring a value add to the marketplace never seen before. Aerospace was using honeycomb. I wanted the industrial world to have the same opportunity at a price point that made sense. So we created the value opportunity with Celtec panels. This is a wall. This is a ramp. This, this, is, this is the ramp. This is the ramp. So, so you use this in everything. There's not everything. A, there's not one piece of wood in one of your trailers. None. Everything is steel, lightweight, to assume the integrity and quality and stiffness. Oh, this we is did a that gorgeous because trailer. We recognize that there wasn't a quality trailer being seen, sold in the marketplace. So you look at the aesthetics of this compared to other trailers. There's no wood in here. It's all steel, effectively giving you durability that hasn't seen before. The other thing is we have vertical E tracks. Each one of those tracks will support a thousand pounds. This decking system here, we can build anywhere and allow you to create all aspects of integrity for stiffness and toughness and, and durability. Wow. Okay, so tell me, if guys wanted to learn more about your trailers, what do, where do they gotta go? Do you get a website, Doug, or tell me a little bit about it. So, Celtech Trailers is www.celltech-trailer, okay, dot com. Right here. There it is there. Celltechtrailer.com. So go there. Dash trailer. Dash trailer.com. Cliff, what are we looking at with this? This is a, a 3000 series bale bed, Bessler bale bed. It's used, it's an arm bed, so it's used to, it's actually mounted on a pickup, so you take the pickup to the field, so you don't need a tractor or anything else to get the hay. You go grab a bale of hay with the arms and load it into the bed. You could actually carry two bales if desired. Take it to the field, uh, set it down, and then unroll the, the bale of hay to feed the cow. And that's by Bessler. By Bessler Industries, Cambridge, Nebraska. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so this looks like a regular ratchet, but it's not. Jeff, tell me, how does this work? Can you explain this to me? Yeah, we redesigned the barrel to reduce the friction. So this ratchet is going to release like that every single time years to come. Can you roll one up for me? I want to see how smooth it actually operates going up. Yep. And then go back down for me. I just want to see that action. 
Okay, what is this called and where do you guys find this at? This is the Snap and Turtle Easy Release Ratchet and you can find it at snapandturtle.com. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, I'm with Benny. How are you? Good, myself, Stan. Doing good. So you created Horizon Trailers, the entire system, just a few years back. And yeah. you guys are taking off, skyrocketing. But look at this is one of your innovations. So we're looking at this trailer right here. Tell me about this a little bit, but let's walk up as you as we uh, as we look at it and you tell me about it, Benny. So yes, sir. So uh, this trailer is equipped with the air ride system, uh, lift axle, uh, hydraulic dovetail. As you see, this one we actually rated at uh, 10,000 pounds, loaded capacity and lifting capacity. On the dovetail? Yeah. Tell me about this. Yeah, this is an optional feature where you know you you have your deck on the bottom, but you want some more extra load capacity on your neck. This yep. is an option, an optional feature that we offer to add it onto the trailers. How much uh, can you actually carry up there? At about 5,000 pounds. 5,000 pounds. Wow. How much space do you have up here, Benny? Eight feet long and uh, 102 wide. One or two wide? 102, 102 inches. Oh, 102 yeah, 102, inches yes, wide. Sir. Yes, okay, okay. What is it designed for? Is there anything specific you had in mind? Or Nothing just, specific, just, just more load capacity. Just give the guys the options Pretty to do much. what they want to do. You can load whatever you want to. Now, is that actually available out on your... On all of our goosenecks. On all of your goosenecks. Dump trailers, flat decks, whatever you want, you name it. All right, we got to show something here real quick while we're with Horizon Trailers and we're with Benny. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but these lights are completely sealed, integrated, and every Horizon Trailer, because I'm a Horizon Trailer owner, every Horizon Trailer has the integrated lights like this. This isn't an upgrade. This is just the way they do business. Standard. Standard. Yep. So what I found with Benny is that a lot of guys that have upgrade options, it's just standard. You just go standard. Give it to them. Just, 100%. just give it to them. Then tell me about the one piece neck, Benny. All right. So until just recently, the uh, the riser we did an I beam and then the front part we just welded onto the I beam. This is actually the first trailer that we released where it's a one piece engineered neck from uh, front to the back. And with this, you know, the slanted curve, the way that we do our things, it just makes it look a little bit different. Mm. It stands out. Yeah, it sure does. Horizon Trailers. If you guys want more information, where do they go and how do they find one? www.horizontrailers.com. Perfect. All right, guys, you've seen it here first. Thanks, Benny. No problem. And congratulations on your grandchild, though. Oh, thank I you, sir. Yeah, yeah. All right, you guys, uh, I'm going to jump in here because that's the end of this video. We do have one more video, one final one from the NATDA show. Then we've got the Utility Expo coming up, but we've also got a brand new series coming out where I'm developing a new property. Here's the scoop. I don't trust social media to make my living at any point. So I have to diversify my income streams. I already own a construction company, as you guys know, and we do a lot of snow plowing and removal, but I also know that the more diverse your income, the, the better off you are. Well, let me rephrase that. What I have learned is that the average multimillionaire has seven different streams of income. That's no lie whatsoever. And the reason they do that is they never put all of their eggs in one basket. And so the reason I mention this to you is coming up, I'm going to de be developing my property across the lake, Shangri-La Douche. Uh, we're gonna be building a road, putting in a house pad, pouring concrete, and then physically moving a house in. And the reason I'm doing this is because it allows me to Airbnb these properties. I'm trying to get a set of two to three of them set up and running to kind of dip my toe in into the water to see how viable of an income stream that is. I've done um, housing before. I've bought and flipped many houses in the past. I've rented houses out. I've owned quite a few different properties. And I've never really enjoyed those long-term rentals. I've had really, really bad renters in some of my properties. Insane, just incredible. Uh, if you guys want to hear the story about the guy I caught, my renter I caught trying to steal the appliances out of my house as he moved away and what I did to him, let me know in the comments down below because that guy regretted ever trying to steal the stuff out of my house as he moved out. I'll let you know the rest of that story. So film, hit me up on the renter story. Tell me about that. But 
I'm just sharing this information with you because I'm trying to diversify these revenue streams and I've never done Airbnbs and I'm going to attempt to do that and I'm just bringing you along for the ride during the development stages and I'll bring you along for the entire ride right up until we get these things rented and how that works or doesn't work. I don't know. I've never done it before, but that's what I've got for you on this video. That's what's coming up down the pipeline and that's all for today. God bless. Go get them, you guys. We will catch you guys on another one. Dirt Monkey out.